So many people tonight touched by the deadly plane crash on Lanai, and devastation is the word that's being used over and over. And tonight we can tell you the names of the three people who survived the fiery crash and the three people who did not. KIT Force Andrew Pereira arrived back on Oahu and leads off our team coverage at 6:30. Andrew. Yeah, Yunji, the pain of this terrible tragedy is really being felt on two islands. One where the three people who were killed lived, and the other where they traveled to go to work on behalf of the tight knit community that is Lanai. Nearly 15 hours after a twin engine Piper aircraft crashed one mile southeast of Lanai Airport, the bodies of the three people killed were transported from the site two Maui County workers and the pilot. It's heartbreaking to see this. This is just. Devastating, both to the county and to this community. For something like this to happen, it's just, it hurts here a lot, and I'm sure it hurts a lot over Maui. Four employees with Maui's planning department, as well as Deputy Corporation Counsel James Garreau, arrived at Lanai Airport Wednesday afternoon to conduct business on behalf of the Pineapple Isle's 3,000 residents. Over the past year, the county workers developed strong ties to this community. They've been really good in understanding that we are a unique community and our needs are a lot different than the other counties' needs and the other islands' needs. The five Maui County officials had attended a planning commission meeting here at the Lanai Senior Center that wrapped up at 8.30. Less than an hour later, two of those Maui County officials would be killed along with the pilot. The two women who were killed have been identified as Kathleen Kern and Tremaine Valberti. Kathleen was a hard worker. Uh, she, she spent a lot of time. Uh, working on our plan. We are the first uh, in Maui County to start the community plan process. You know, she was very professional. Uh, we're going to miss her dearly. Two ladies, and, and all of them, all of the staff have been just wonderful. They, they've worked hard, they work hard, they put up with our nonsense and our, <laughs> our objections and whatever. Maui police say the twin engine Piper aircraft took off from Lanai Airport at about 9 20 p.m. Just a few minutes later, James Garreau called 911, saying he had been in a plane crash. Christopher Harvey and a friend were leaving church in Lanai City when he saw flames toward the Miki Basin area. We seen a small, a small flame. Um, it didn't look very big. It did look like a wildfire. What Harvey and his buddy couldn't see was Garreau risking his own life to save others. First responders say the county lawyer pulled Mark King and Douglas Miller from the burning wreckage. King and Miller were taken to the Queens Medical Center via air ambulance, both in critical condition. He's the hero of, the, of that, that plane flight. If he did that, then he ought, to be, he ought to get something for that because that's heroic. That's what you do when you're in that position. Now, just about a half hour ago, James Garreau issued a statement through Maui County because of speculation on social media. He wanted his family and friends to be reassured that he did not suffer life threatening injuries. Now, after the plane crash, all three survivors were taken to the Queens Medical Center here on Oahu. James Garreau was initially listed in serious condition. The two men who he pulled out of that burning wreckage, Douglas Miller and Mark King, were initially listed in critical condition. That's the latest on Lanai. We'll send it back to you, Yanji. Thanks so much, Andrew. Wow, what a story. And witnesses who were on the scene after that crash say bulldozers from Goodfellow Brothers were brought out to help carve a path to the crash site. That was for emergency workers. Yeah, the crash happened in an area that was really hard to access. Ray Skelton of Goodfellow Brothers released a statement saying, We thank our employees for their role in assisting, and we will continue to assist the state airports division and Maui County fire and police as needed. Our condolences and prayers go out to all of those involved in the crash, their families, the County of Maui and the entire Lanai community. We pray for God's blessing and a speedy recovery for the survivors of the crash.